Hello some pilots and welcome to episode 2 in our Microsoft Flight Simulator A32 NX beginner tutorial series. Today we're going to continue with our flight from Manchester to Dusseldorf. If you haven't seen episode 1 where we installed this aircraft, did a sim brief flight plan, imported it into the MCDU, started up the engines and did the pushback from the gate, make sure you check that out first. If you have then let's get going with episode 2 where we're going to continue with the taxi and the takeoff and the climb to our cruising altitude of flight level 330. So let's go ahead and continue with our before taxi flow. We're going to do a flight controls check. So if I press the flight control button here, bring up the display. Let me grab my joystick and we're going to check our flight controls. So we're going to go full left, neutral, full right, neutral, full up, neutral, full down, neutral, rider, left, and full right and neutral that is a flight controls check okay let's turn on our runway turn off lights can go to the on position and the nose wheel light can be set to taxi let's ding the cabin we do a config check so we can take off config make sure everything here is blue predictive wind shear can go on and cabin check still blue There we go. So our takeoff, we have everything in the green. Let's do our taxi checklist. Flight controls checked. Flaps, we have flaps one set. Radar predicts the windshield on and auto. Engine mode selector is in the normal position. And EK memo, takeoff, no blue. With that, we are ready to taxi. Let's bring up the chart and look at our taxi route. So we're here at Juliet Foxtrot, so we're going to taxi to 2-3 left. So we go down Juliet Foxtrot, short on Bravo, right turn onto Kilo, left turn onto Papa, cross runway 2-3 right, along Delta Zulu, Tango, and we're going to hold at Tango 1 for 2-3 left. We need a little bit of a clear picture, go to the parking stands, and here we can see the taxiway names a little bit more clearly. So we're here on Juliet Foxtrot, we're going to go along Juliet Foxtrot to Bravo, Left turn on to Kilo, excuse me, right turn on to Kilo. Left turn on to Papa. Cross runway 23 right. Delta Zulu, join Tango, hold Tango 1. That is our taxi route. Release the parking brake. A little bit of throttle to get us going. I'm ignoring this Ryanair spinning next to me. That is my ARG traffic manager getting wonky. Okay, so we're going to taxi a little bit forward. Throttle back. Okay, so this is Bravo. Immediate right onto Kilo. Foxtrot, so this is going to be Papa where we're going to take our left turn. Okay, left turn here, Papa. path is clear okay we're crossing two three right we're going to aircraft approaching on two three left slow down a little bit okay this is Delta Zulu which becomes tango where we will hold short of 2-3 left. Okay, here we are, 2-3 left. Let's stop right here, the hold short line. Set the parking brake. Okay, 
let's quickly remind ourselves of the departure so we'll bring up the charts again sandbar one yankee departure departing two three left we climb d3.2 from the manchester vr slight right turn to heading of 284 then it, once we are at five manchester we're going to turn left to heading of 154 to intercept the 334 degree radial to the Honolulu VOR. Altitude, we're going to make sure we're above 3000 at 58 DME from Honolulu, but below 5000, and then we're going to hold 5000 till we get to Sanba. Okay, here it is at the bottom again. Climb straight ahead at D3.2 Manchester, turn right to heading of 284. At 5 MCT, turn left to Tabley, intercept Honolulu radial 334 inbound. Cross D58 Honolulu at or above 3000, max 5000 to Sanba at 5000. That is our departure. Okay, so once we've entered the runway, we're going to increase our throttle to 50% N1. Once engines are stable at 50%, we're going to go full forward on the throttle to the Toga detent. We will, we will rotate at 131 knots, follow the air navigation display along the track climbing to 5,000 feet. After the positive rate of climb, we're going to raise the landing gear. When we get to 1,700 feet, which is 1,500 feet above ground altitude, that's our thrust reduction altitude, we're going to bring the throttle levers back to the climb detent, and then we will arm the autopilot and clean up the aircraft. Okay, let's get ready for departure. So, we can go and turn on our transponder, it's T-A-R-A, we can go to auto, Landing lights can go to the on position. Nose wheel light can go to takeoff. Line up, takeoff runway right, uh, two, three left. TCAS is set on, packs one and two are on. Okay, with the lineup checklist complete, let us check if the approach path is clear. Right, approach path looks clear. Let's release the parking brake and get going. Okay, parking brake's been released. I hope these aircraft don't taxi onto the runway. Start the clock. And let's go. Okay, it looks like they are holding position. center line let's go 50 percent okay into stable full forward toga okay toga srs nav it's 60 knots it's 80 knots 100 knots 120 V1 rotate okay positive rate of climb gear up okay we're following the flight directors at our left turn so our, our right turn excuse me so let's turn right okay lever can go back to the climb detent i need to recalibrate my throttle so we have the green air speed so flaps can go up continue accelerating out Accelerates up to 250 knots. Good 
approaching there's five DME from Manchester VR so it's time for our left turn to Tabley pitch up a little bit bring the speed back to 250 knots and let's arm the autopilot Uh, this is on speed brake. Nose wheel lights can go off, and the runway turn off lights can be turned off. Okay, here we are at 5,000 feet, which is our first altitude restriction. There's our arrow pointing towards the Honolulu BOR 250 knots. Zoom out. Okay, so we have there we have only 58, which is above 3,000 but below 5,000, and then we have our sandbar with an altitude restriction of 5,000 feet, which is where we are at right now. So the aircraft is going to hold altitude at 5,000 feet until it reaches sandbar. Once past sandbar, we can continue our climb to our cruising altitude which is going to be flight level 330. Once we're in the climb we'll talk about the flight control unit and how to use the autopilot in selected mode. For now we are in manage mode, manage speed, manage heading, all being done by the MCDU, what we've set up in the MCDU. Okay let's take a closer look at our navigation display. Here yeah, we are passing Honolulu 58, heading towards Samba. QNH is flashing because we are at our transition altitude, which is also 5,000 feet. We will set standard once we've passed Samba and we are in the climb to our cruise altitude. Right, if you're flying online, very rarely will they hold you at this altitude according to the standard instrument departure. What they will normally do is they'll give you a instruction to climb even before you've reached this waypoint. But for the purposes of this tutorial, we'll stick it out until we get to Sandbo. We're nearly there, we are only 2.7 nautical miles away. Okay, here we are, we're crossing Sandbar, our altitude restriction no longer applies, and we can continue our climb to flight level 330. There you can see we've automatically changed from that restriction 5,000 feet. Let's change to the armed mode of 330. Let's go ahead and select it by pushing managed altitude. There we have alt climb, alt armed 330. So the aircraft's going to begin the climb now to flight level 330. We can set standard on the barrow. And continue our climb. Right, coming up through flight level 080, once we pass 10,000 feet, we will turn off the landing lights and the fasten seatbelt sign. And then we will talk a little bit about the autopilot. Okay, so above 10,000 feet, we can turn off the landing lights and the fasten seatbelt sign can come off. continue our climb towards Honolulu. Okay, so there we have our blue top of climb arrow, which is telling us that we are going to reach our cruising altitude of flight level 330, pretty much at the Honolulu VOR. There are these blue, these arrows, that's the ones that we switched on to display the 
BORs when we set up the RAD nav page over there, when we put in the frequencies over there, that points in the direction of the BOR. We turn that off as well. Let's talk a little bit about the flight control units. We have our speed, we have our heading, and we have our altitude. When you have the dashes and dots, it means it is in managed mode. The MCDU is managing the autopilot for us. It is going according to what we've set up in the navigation display. So our speed is being managed and our heading is being managed. So at the moment we are heading along the navigation display and our speed is being managed according to our performance calculations in the MCDU. If we wanted to use a selected mode, we could simply push and pull the dials as required. If you do, if you, if you have an up arrow and you push, it is managed mode. If you have a down arrow to pull the knob, it is selected mode. So if I pull and I change the speed, it's going to change the speed over here according to our selected speed. If we use the up arrow and we push, it's going to use managed speed. So if you wanted to slow down or speed up, you could use selected mode by simply dial turning the dial left and right to increase or decrease the speed and then using the down arrow to pull the knob to use a selected speed. Push up and to use the manage speed. Same thing with the heading. If we turn the heading left and right, we can see over here our heading indicator is turning left and right, but we still have the dot. We're still in managed mode until we pull the dial and then it becomes selected and then the aircraft will turn in the desired heading according to what you have chosen. So let's go back to managed mode. We have the dashes and the dots and it's going to follow the autopilot. The altitude window will always show an altitude in the window. It will not have dashes there. But if you have the dot there, you're in managed climb or managed altitude mode. And if you have no dot there, then you're in at the moment we had open climb to climb to that altitude that we selected or we can use a vertical speed by using the by changing the vertical speed dial but for now let's continue in our climb in managed mode climbing to our cruising altitude of flight level 330 right that's pretty much it for the takeoff and the departure we're going to climb to our cruising altitude of flight level 330 once up there, we are going to plan the descent, the approach and the arrival into Dusseldorf. That's it for episode 2. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have any questions regarding the departure of the A32NX itself, leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button, hit subscribe if you haven't already done so. We have more coming in episode 3. We will do the approach and the landing. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.